Hey guys, welcome back to the Soil versus Hydro versus Cocoa Grow. And uh, this is week six, we missed a week, but uh, unfortunately we have problems and you can probably see visually, that's the soil, that's the hydro, They're both doing around the same, and that is the cocoa. And last week we did a flush on the cocoa and although you can't see them in the flushed water now there was a ton of larvae fungus gnats and they've been getting at the roots which is why we've had some slow development here they are still in the soil which you can see them there wriggling around in them there is tons of them and uh, a few flies flying around they were um they were getting into the side of the air pot and if you tap the pot, you'd see all the flies uh, taken off. So they're laying their eggs in there. So we wrapped this around and uh, covered the soil to stop. Um, we've used this stuff, uh, which is a mild uh, pesticide. But we're, we're actually waiting for uh, tannin, which we know can deal with these fungus gnats. But um, there was no stock of them anywhere locally. Had to order them through eBay, and it's going to take a few weeks. Uh, going to take it has it will have taken a week or so. It's going to arrive probably tomorrow, um, and we will flush all of them. The soil has a little signs, but nowhere near the same activity. Um, let's see now in the soil here. No, I can't see any in that shot. There is a flu, a few knocking around though, the soil, but as you can see with the development, the, um, the soil's doing pretty good, hydro's doing great, and uh, cocoa unfortunately is just a completely different ball game. Um, see here with the hydro, decent colour on the leaves. We're paling a little bit, so we've upped the, uh, the feed regime a little bit. The nutrients, uh, good root structure. This is week six now, so uh, yeah, they're doing well. No sign of the fungus gnats in there, thankfully. Um, so yeah, a bit of a bummer. Um, be interested, we, we didn't know whether we would have to abandon this uh, comparison. It's taken a long time to set up and they're a fair bit in. I don't really want to abandon it. My suggestion is to give these so these have been infected as far as we know for about two weeks and we will flush them out tomorrow um, and we will do the same for all of them um, and my question to you is do you think it would be a fair comparison if we ran these um, an extra two weeks basically so just trying to get by the resetting the whole thing all over again. Um, I understand there'll be an asterisk over the result in terms of the outcome. It's not all about the numbers on the outcome. A lot of it is the process and I'll be going through the costs and all that sort of stuff and the quality of the yield and everything else. Anyway, interested in your thoughts. I'll leave it up to you guys. If it's a uh, majority saying, dump it, you got to start again. And that's what we'll do. We've got some seedlings here, clones of the um, of the chilies same chili plants we kept a few aside so we can use them straight away and uh, restart or uh, yeah as i said give it a chance give it an extra two weeks for the harvest on the um, cocoa and uh, call them equivalent for doing that so let us know please in the comments below appreciate your feedback take care